Hey, what's up? And welcome back to another build tutorial where today I'm going to show you how to build your own Taco Bell in Minecraft. The perfect place where you can grab a nice taco. Inside features an eating area and a large kitchen where all the food is prepared. But before I start the tutorial, I'd really appreciate it if you consider giving that like button a little click as it does help me out and I'd highly appreciate that. But without me wasting any more time, let's start building. Here are all the materials that you will need for this build. There are some custom heads included, but I'll show you how to get them later in the video. And the plot of land you will need is 25 by 25 blocks. First up, I'm going to show you how to build the side road for the drive through area. So first up, I'm just going to grab myself some smooth stone to begin with. And if I just go to the bottom right hand corner, just from that point, I'm just going to replace this whole right side with some smooth stone. So just until I reach the top, just there. And then I'm going to leave a gap of five. So one, two, three, four, five. But then on the sixth block, I'm then going to place another bit of smooth stone there. And then I'm just going to build this up just to reach the back. Just there. So you've done this correctly. There should be a gap of five in between these two rows of smooth stone there. And then after that, I'm then going to grab myself some grey concrete. And I'm just going to replace these light grey bits at the top and bottom. And that should leave you with something that looks like that. And the next, I'm now going to grab myself some white concrete. And with this white concrete, from this point, I'm just going to count up six blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm placing some white concrete there. And then I'm going to count up another six blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six. On that sixth block, place some more white concrete. And then finally, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then on that sixth block, placing some more white concrete there. So there should be two gaps of five in between these middle sections just there. And then just behind each white point, I'm just going to place two white concrete either side. So just doing that for each of these points here. And that will create the markings for our drive through. And then I'm just going to replace the rest of this grass area with some more of this grey concrete. So just fitting this all in. And that will complete the road for our drive through. And the next up, just where this light grey border is going around. I'm just going to replace all of that with this smooth stone. And that will leave you something that looks like this. So now it's time to start building the actual building for the Taco Bell restaurant itself. So for that firstly, I'm going to grab myself some purple concrete. And then just from this point here, I'm going to count up to and then across to. And then on that block, I'm then going to place one bit of purple concrete there to begin with. And I'm just going to extend this point up so it's five blocks high in total. And then going in the left direction, I'm going to leave a gap of four and then place some more purple concrete there and then build that up so that's five blocks high. And then going around to the other side, again leaving a gap of four and then placing another five purple concrete there. And the next up, I'm going to move back to the grey concrete. And then I'm just going to leave a gap of four and then place another bit of grey concrete there. And then I'm just going to extend that across. So we've got a six long row just there. And then I'm just going to thicken that forward by one more. And then I'm just going to extend this point so it's five blocks high in total. Just so it's the same height as the pillars there. And then just going around, I'm going to move back to the purple concrete. Then I'll leave a gap of four. And then place another bit of purple concrete there. And build that up, so five blocks high in total. And then again, leave another gap of four. And then placing this time, going back to the grey concrete. Placing one bit of grey concrete there. And then just building that up, so it's five blocks high. So as you see at the minute, we're just trying to keep everything the same height. And then I'm just going to extend this point by 11 blocks. 
So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then eleven. Just like that. And then going around, from this point here, I'm just going to place one bit of great concrete there, and then another one. And then I'm just going to place another four lots of two concrete. It's going across there. So this part should be six blocks across in total. So the same thickness as what we've done at the front there. And then I'm just going to build this section up. And next up, moving back to the purple concrete, I'm going to place 10 blocks going across. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So you should end up with something like that. And then I'm just going to extend that up again so it's level with everything else. So 5 blocks high. And then just moving around, I'm just going to extend this point by another 4 blocks. Just like that and then just building that up so it's level with everything else and i'm moving to this left point just there from this point i'm just going to count across five blocks so one two three four five and then up by one i'm going to place some gray concrete there and i'm just going to bring that forward by one just like that and i'm just going to send this up so it's five blocks high and the next, I'm just going to thicken this by one more to the right there. Then I'm going to leave a gap of two. And then I'm going to place three grey concrete in some sort of L shape. Just like that. And then just building that up so it's five blocks high again. And then I'm just going to place two grey concrete at the bottom and two at the top. And that will create our drive through window. So next up, we're now going to start laying out all of the interior walls and stuff. For this first seat, if I just go to this point here, I'm just going to build up another 5 grey concrete there. And then I'm going to leave a gap of 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then I'm going to place another bit of grey concrete there. So just to clarify, there should be a gap of 7 there. And then from this point, I'm just going to build that up. So it's 5 blocks high. And that'll leave you something that looks like this. And then going around, I'm going to extend this point by another four blocks. So one, two, three, and then four. And that'll give us a nice big side wall just like that. And then just from this point here, I'm then going to place three grey concrete going across. And I'm just going to build that up. So this part's going to be the main kitchen area. And this part's going to be where the toilets are going to go. Sticking with the grey concrete, just from this point here, I'm going to place another five there and then I'm just going to build that up so it's five blocks high again just leveling with everything else and then just inside this little toilet section here just on this middle point there I'm going to place three smooth quartz along there and then just extending it up so again it's the same height as everything else so five blocks high and then sticking with this quartz I'm now going to wallpaper this kitchen area and that just means pretty much making this room a different color to what you'd see outside so we just move quartz firstly starting in this corner here first thing i'm just going to place four along the bottom of the drive through bit and then i'm going to place four on each side and then just two to fill that little gap in at the top there and then from this point here i'm going to place some more quartz and extend that up and then from that point i'm just going to follow this all the way around the wall until I meet just there and then I'm just going to build up this little corner section so it's five blocks high but as you see that just makes that kitchen area look a little bit neater compared to what it would look like if you didn't have this inner section there but as you see by doing that that will make the kitchen area look that little bit neater so if you've been following me correctly so far, you should end up with something that looks like this. So you should have the main wall layout built up. Next up, it's now time to fill in all of the floor. So for that, firstly, I'm going to grab myself some polished deep slate. And first, I'm just going to fill in the gaps 
in between each of the windows. That'll leave you something that looks like that. And then I'm also going to play some deep slate just in between this gap. Just here. And this is going to be where the order counter is going to go. And then sticking with this deep slate, I'm just going to fill in all of this grass area. So pretty much this little toilet section and the main restaurant area. Whilst excluding this area here because that's where the kitchen is going to go. So just filling all this area in. And that'll leave you some that looks like this. And the next I'm going to grab myself some polished andesite. And I'm going to use that to fill in this kitchen area. So you should end up with something that looks like this once all the floor has been filled up. And the next up, I'm now going to add all of the windows and doors. So for that, I'm just going to grab myself some black stained glass panes and also some deep slate tile walls. So first up, just starting on this left hand side with the black stained glass panes, I'm just going to fill all these two areas in. So just filling in those gaps with some glass. For these first lot of windows. Just like that. And then going around, just on this left point here, this is going to be the entrance. So for that, I'm going to place one black glass pane just on each side. And then I'm going to place one deep slate tile wall on top of each one. And then another three panes on each side to finish that off. And that will be the main entrance for our Taco Bell restaurant. And then I'm just going to fill the rest of these three windows in with some more of this glass. And that'll leave you some that looks like that. And then to fill the drive through window, I'm just going to place one glass pane on the top and bottom, followed by a deep set tile wall just in the middle there. And the next up, just where there's any of this glass area going around, I'm just going to replace all of that with some more smooth stone. And that will neaten off all of the area there. And then for some extra details, I'm then going to add some bushes. So for that, I'm just going to grab myself some oak leaves. So first up, just coming to the side here, from that point, placing seven across. Just there. And then just coming to the front here. Just go, just on this third block here. I'm just going to place three in an L shape. And then one up diagonally. And another one up diagonally. Got a nice little front bush there. And then just going around, just on this little purple wall here, I'm going to place three just along in the middle there. And then just going around from that point there, placing another six just there at the back. And that'll just add a nice little bit of extra decoration there. So next up, it's now time to build this restaurant up. So for this, I'm just going to go back to the grey concrete. And starting from this point here at the front, I'm just going to place one bit of grey concrete there another bit behind it and then I'm just going to extend this going all the way along just until I'm one block out of that purple pillar just there and then just going around and I'm going to place another two grey concrete like that and then just extending that all the way along just until I'm one block out from the purple wall just there and I'm going around again, placing another two grey concrete and then extending that. Just until I align with this bit of the grey wall there. And then going around from that point, extending this across until I reach back where we started. So as you see, I've just created a nice loop going around like that. And the next, just from this point here, I'm going to place another bit of grey concrete and then building that across. And to meet with 
this side just there. And I'm just going around from that point, extending that across. So I'll meet with the back there. And then just heighten in this little section as well. And then finally, just placing another two in that gap. And the next, I'm just going to create the ceilings for these two little areas there. And the next bit is like a concrete. From this point here, I'm just going to place some... Just coat in the inner side of the wall. Just like that. And then I'm just going to thicken this by one more. And that'll leave you something that looks like that. And next up, I'm then going to grab myself some glowstone and an iron trap door. And I'm just going to place one bit of glowstone just in each corner there. And then underneath, I'm going to place a trap door just there. And then I'm just going to fill in the rest of the area with some more of this concrete. And that will finish the ceiling for the kitchen. And then for the toilet area, firstly, I'm just going to place some light grey concrete on top of that white wall to begin with. And then I'm going to place one bit of glowstone on each side with a trap door underneath each one. And then I'm just going to fill in the rest of the remaining area with some more of the concrete, just like that. So by doing that, that will complete the lower down roofs for the Taco Bell. And the next up for the drive through canopy, so just coming over to this side, just from this point here, I'm going to place one grey concrete there, leaving a gap of four, and I'm placing another one there. And then I'm just going to extend each of these points so they're five blocks high, just like that. And then just bridging the top together. And then I'm just going to thicken this by one more at the back. You should end up with something that looks like that. And the next, I'm then going to grab myself some more concrete. So I'm going to grab myself some purple and some magenta. And then firstly, just from this point, I'm going to place two purple. And the next to that, two magenta. And then two purple. And then two magenta, just like that. And then going to the top, this time just following that same pattern, but just placing the blocks one more back. So again, two purple, two magenta, two purple, and then two magenta there. And then pushing it back one more. So again, two purple, two magenta, two purple, and then two magenta just there. And that will complete our canopy design. Next up, I'm now going to show you how to create the Taco Bell logo. So I'm going to grab some purple concrete here and then come into the front and just to this left section. Just on this point, I'm just going to place one bit of purple concrete just coming out just there. And then I'm just going to extend that by three blocks across. So that'll give us a row of four there. Then I'm going to double that up. And then I'm going to place two blocks just on the left side. And then switch into the magenta, placing two on the other side. And then just two in the middle at the top there. And then for the bell itself, I'm going to grab myself some smooth quartz stairs. Just there. And then just on these two blocks, I'm going to place one stair on each side there. And then underneath, I'm then going to place two smooth quartz blocks. And then I'm also going to grab myself some smooth quartz slabs and I'll place two of them just underneath that. And then to finish off the bell, I'm going to grab some iron trap doors and I'm just going to place one just on each side there. And then next, I'm also going to grab myself a lever. And then just behind each block where the trap door is placed, I'm just going to place one lever and then flip them down to flip the trap doors down. But as you see, that will create our nice Taco Bell logo there. And then if I just go behind, I'm just going to start building the wall up. So again, I'm just going to place two grey concrete in the middle and then one on each side there. And then placing six just behind there. And then I'm just going to place six on top there. Extend that back by one more. And then I'm just going to extend this wall up by another three blocks. And that will give us our main Taco Bell logo there. And the next up, just from this point here, I'm going to place another three grey concrete going up. And then just placing another three behind that. 
And then I'm just going to extend this a point. Going all the way across to begin with. Just like this. And then going around. And then extending it across. Just until I meet with that drive through section we built. So you should end up with something that looks like that. And then just going to the other side, I'm then going to place two grey concrete, build that up by another two rows, and then I'm just going to extend this across until I meet the end just there. That'll give you something that looks like that. And then going around once more, placing another six there, and then just extending this across just till I reach the other side. As you see, by building this all the way around, this should leave you with a nice thick wall just there. And then finally, just on this side, placing three, and then just extending that across until we meet back at the front. And the next up, sticking with the grey concrete, just going back into the interior here, and then just from this point here, I'm just going to place another three grey concrete going up there. And then I'm just going to extend that along just to the other side. And I'm going around, extend this along just to the back wall. And then, just from this point here, extending it across to make that wall higher as well. And the next up, just coming back to the front and going around. From this point, I'm going to place another two grey concrete. And then I'm just going to extend this all the way across. Just until I meet with the end just there. And then going around, extending this. Just until I align with the edge there. And then I'm just going to double that up by one more on that side. So next up, I'm now going to add a bit of extra decoration by adding this grey pattern on the outside. So for this, I'm going to grab some more light grey concrete. And starting from this point here, I'm going to place one there. And I'm just going to build this all the way along until I'm sticking one block out there. And then continuing this until I meet with the canopy just there. And then leaving a six block gap and then placing another bit of grey concrete. Building that across again so one block is sticking out. And then building that across just until I'm on the edge of where that purple wall is. And then just going back to the front, I'm going to leave a gap and then place another bit of grey concrete. And then I'm just going to repeat the exact same thing, but just on this layer this time. And that'll give you something that looks like that. And then finally, for the last layer, firstly I'm just going to place two this time, so two grey concrete. And then I'm going to build that across. Again, until on one block sticking out there. And then extending this until I meet the drive through bit. And then again, placing another two, extending that across. Again, so one block is sticking out. And then extending that across until I meet there. So as you see, by doing that, that will create a nice cool pattern for our restaurant design. And then finally, for the roof. I'm just going to fill in all of this ceiling area with all of this grey concrete. So level just with this top part of the pattern that we created. So first, if I just fill in these little areas just around here to begin with. And then just filling the rest of this area and that will complete all of our roof. By the end, you should have something that looks like this. And just to finish off to neaten off this roof, with some more grey concrete, just from this point here, I'm just going to build that all the way across just until I meet with that point there. And then I'm just going to fill in all of this middle area with 
some more of this grey concrete. So just filling this section in. So with that roof done, that is all of our main exterior complete. So now moving on to decorating the inside. So first up, I need to light this place up. So for that, I'm going to grab myself some chains. So just starting at this front left section, just there. From this point, I'm going to count across diagonally two. So one, two. And I'm just going to place one chain just there. And then I'm going to leave a gap of two and place one going across. Leave a gap of two, place one, and leave a gap of two, and then place one like that. So we still have four chains just there. And then I'm going to leave a gap of three between each one and then place another chain just there and then leaving a final gap of three just on this left side there and then placing one more chain in the middle bit there so that's just going to mark out where each light's going to go and i'm just going to extend each of these points by one more chain you should have something that looks like that and then I'm going to grab myself a lantern and also some iron trap doors. And then just under each chain, I'm going to place the lantern and the iron trap door. So I'm just going to do this for each of them. And that will complete the lights for our main restaurant area. Next up, I'm going to show you how to decorate the kitchen area. So the first thing, I'm just going to grab myself some smooth quartz. I'm just going to place six on the right hand side there. And then with a trap door, I'm going to place one in the gap there. And I'm also going to grab myself a lever and just place one there so we can open and close the door. And then for the ordering section, I'm going to grab myself firstly a stone stair. Or a till. So I'm just going to place one on each side there. And then I'm going to grab myself some grey carpet and place one on the ends. But I'm just going to leave this middle bit free because that's where some of the food's going to go later. And for the menu, I'm going to grab a chain. From that point, going across one, place a chain. And then going across four, so one, two, three, four, placing another chain there. And then I'm then going to grab myself some black wool. And then I'm just going to place one bit of black wool underneath each chain. And then just going to bridge that across. And then I'm just going to grab myself some item frames. And then I'm just going to place five just in front there. And I'll be filling up that menu with some food later on. So now it's time to decorate the main kitchen area itself. So firstly, for a fridge design, I'm going to grab myself a piston to begin with. And just starting in this top left hand corner here, just from this point, I'm just going to place four pistons going up like that. And also another four just on the other side there. And that'll give us a fridge design. And next up, for some of the countertops, I'm going to grab myself some light grey concrete. And then firstly, I'm just going to place two next to the fridge like that. Then I'm going to leave a gap of two, and then I'm going to place another two just there. Then leaving another gap or two, I'm then going to place just three in an L shape in that little corner there. And then just starting from that point, I'm just going to count across two blocks. And then on that block, I'm just going to place four light grey concrete going across like that. And then I'm just going to place one behind this block there. So that'll form our main countertops. And then firstly, just in this gap here, I'm going to add an oven. So for that, I'm going to grab myself a furnace, a banner, a black one. And also an iron trap door and an iron frame. So for the oven, I'm just going to place the furnace down there and then I'm going to place a black banner in front of it and just make sure that you shift while you do this. Same with the item frame shift and then place that. And then with the iron trap door, placing that in the item frame and just rotating that round for a little oven handle there. And then for a hob, I'm just going to add an iron trap door on the top. And next to it, I'm then going to add a deep fryer. So I'm just going to destroy that block. And then I'm just going to add an iron trap door there to begin with. And then I'm also going to grab myself an armor stand. I'm just going to place that on top. 
And then for a fire basket design, I'm going to grab myself a chainmail helmet. And I'm just going to put that on the armor stand just there. And then for the main fire itself, I'm going to be using a cauldron. So I'm just going to place that on top there. And then if I grab myself a temporary piston and a redstone block, if I just put the piston on top like that and then power it, that'll push the cauldron down into the armor stand, giving us a fire design. And then next up, I'm going to add some kitchen cabinets. So for that, I'm going to get myself some light grey chocolate boxes. I'm just going to place two just there. And then next to that, I'm going to add an extractor. So for that, I'm going to get myself some stone slabs. And I'm just going to place three just along there. And another five just going up in the middle. And then for a sink wash area, moving back to the cauldrons, I'm just going to place two there. And I'm just going to fill them up with some water. Let's fill them up. And then I'm also going to grab myself a tripwire hook. I'm just going to place one on top of each cauldron for some taps there. And then for the taco assembly area, which is going to be this section. First, I'm just going to destroy these three blocks there. And then I'm going to place three iron trap doors. And then I'm also going to grab some more armor stands. I'm just going to place three going along like that. And then next, I'm going to grab myself some helmets. So I'm going to grab a golden helmet which is going to represent cheese, the turtle shell, which is going to represent lettuce, and I'm also going to need a leather cap here, and that will represent the beef. I'm just going to place these on each of the armor stands, so let's add the lettuce there, and then the beef, and then the cheese, just like that. And then moving back to the cauldrons, I'm just going to place three on top like that. Then if I grab a piston, I'm just going to place three upside down on top there. And then press some block on top, that'll power them all. And as you see, that'll create our little topping station there. And just behind it, I'm just going to grab some black glass. I'm just going to place some just along this section there. And then for a countertop, I'm going to grab myself a spruce pressure plate. And I'm just going to place one there, two in the corner there, and then just one on the corner there. And for a little drive through computer just here, for that I'm going to get myself a polished blackstone pressure plate and a painting. I'm just going to place a pressure plate down there and then the painting and they'll give us a little laptop design there. So next up I'm going to show you how to add some custom heads to your kitchen full of all of the different Taco Bell food items. These custom heads are only available in Java Edition but I will show you an alternative way for those playing on Bedrock. So in the description, I've got links to all of the different custom heads. So for each head, all you've got to do is click on the link and that will bring you to the page where the head is on. And then all you've got to do is come down here to where the commands are, select your version of Minecraft, and then you can just copy the command there. And then once you're back in Minecraft, I'm just going to give myself a command block by doing slash give at p Minecraft command block. And that will give me one of those. And then once you've got your command block, Place in the command you copied and then activate the command block with a button and that'll give you your custom head. So by repeating that process for all the other heads, as you see I've got loads of different food items ready to go here. So first up at the front, I'm just going to add myself a taco and some fries there. And if we go into the kitchen, I'm going to add a plate of nachos just on the side there. Then I might add some chicken tenders just there. And then I'm just going to add some churros there. And then if you come to the front, I'm also going to fill up the menu board here. So for that, let's add the taco there. And then the chicken tenders there. And then the nachos. And then the fries. And then the churros in there. And that will complete our menu. So to create a taco in Bedrock, I'm going to be using a custom banner design for this. So for that, if I just grab myself a Lumi. And I'm just going to place a brown banner in to begin with. And first, I'm just going to add the green dye there. I'm just going to add a brick pattern to begin with. And the next, I'm going to add the yellow. And this time, I'm going to add this stripey pattern. And the next, I'm going to add an orange stripe just on the right side. And then another orange stripe on the left. And to finish it off, I'm just going to add this pattern going around there with the brown. And then finally, just a border to finish that off. Actually, that will give us a cool taco design there. So... What I can do with that is, so for example, let's get rid of that taco. 
And then, so if you're in Bedrock, you can get yourself an item frame, place that down, and then you can add the brown banner there. And then what you can do, it kind of looks like a taco on a plate. So that's one way of working around it. So if I was in Bedrock, I'd just replace all these heads with these tacos instead. And same goes to the menu. You can just destroy the items and then replace that with a taco just like that. So next up, I'm going to show you how to decorate the toilet area. So first up, for the doors for the lavatories, I'm going to grab myself a deep slate tile wall. And first, I'm just going to place five on the left of that side and a five on the right of that side. And starting with the right toilet here, first thing I'm going to grab myself a hopper. Just going to place that going into the wall there. And then I'm going to add an iron trap door on top. And then I'm also going to add a lever. Where I can open and close that door. And then I'm also going to grab myself a cauldron, a water bucket, and a tripwire hook. So, and the cauldron there with the water in. And then the tripwire hook just on top. And then for some toilet roll, I'm going to grab myself an item frame with some white wool. Placing item frame down there with some white wool inside. So I'm just going to mirror that on the other side. So again, hopper in the wall there with an iron shut door on top. And a lever to fit that up. And then next to it, cauldron down, water inside there. Then a chip wire hook for a tap. And then some toilet roll there by placing an item frame down and putting some white wool in there. And for a bit of extra decoration, I'm just going to add a bush here. So I'm just going to place a cauldron down there. Then I'm going to grab myself some spruce leaves. And I'm just going to place three on top like that. And to finish off that toilet area, I'm also going to add a door. So I'm just going to add a black stained glass pane there on the left. Deep slate tile wall on the top. And then another three panes to finish that off. And the next up, I'm now going to show you how to create some of the electronic ordering systems. So first up, I'm just going to grab myself a stone wall. And then I'm just going to place firstly one in the corner there. I'm going to leave a gap. I'm going to place another one. And then on top of each wall, I'm going to grab myself some black wool. And I'm just going to place two on top of each wall there. Followed by a trip wire hook. So for the screen, I'm going to grab myself a grey banner. And also some black dye. And I'm going to need a loom as well for that. So again, placing the loom down. And then... Put in the banner and die in. I'm just going to choose this pattern with a black goes around it. And then that will give us our screen design. So next up for the main eating area. So firstly for the table and chairs, I'm going to grab myself a smooth quartz stair to begin with. Some black stained glass panes and also some white carpet. So just starting in this corner here, I'm just going to place two smooth quartz, leaving a gap of two. And then placing another two on the other side. Then I'm going to leave a gap. And this time only place one lot on each side. Then I'm going to leave a gap and then place another two lots on each side. Just there. And I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side. So again, placing two in that corner. Leaving a gap of two. Placing two. And leaving a gap of one. But this time placing one on each side. Leave another gap. Then placing another two on each side. Just like that. And then for the tables, I'm going to grab some black stained glass panes. I'm just going to place four just in that one to begin with, with some white carpet on top. So I'm just going to do that same thing for these larger tables. So again, four panes in the middle, and then carpet just there. And that will complete our larger tables. And for the little ones, I'm just going to add two glass panes in the middle with two white carpet on top. Just like that. And the next, I'm going to show you how to create a little taco rug. So for that, I'm going to need some purple carpet, some orange carpet, some brown carpet, and also some yellow carpet. So starting from this point here, firstly I'm just going to place two purple down to begin with. Then I'm going to place one purple on the right hand side, orange next to that. And then next, orange on the left, and then brown on the right. And then yellow on the right, and then, oh, any green carpet as well. Grab some of that. So 
but then green on the left. And then orange on the left, and then purple on the left, and then finally just two purple to finish that off. And that gave us our little taco rug there. So the restaurant is nearly done, but now I'm going to add a little bit of extra decoration by using some taco pictures going all the way around. So for those, I'm going to be creating a taco banner, very similar to the one that I showed you earlier. So in total, you're going to need five of these banners. So I'm just going to show you how to do one, and then all you've got to do is repeat that another four times after. So first up, I'm just going to grab myself another loom, placing that down. And then firstly, the brown banner goes in with the green die. And first, I'm just going to choose the brick pattern there. So just grab that. And then next, in with the yellow die, I'm going to choose the stripey pattern there. And then in with the orange die, I'm going to choose the stripe on the right and then the stripe on the left. And then finally, in with the purple die, I'm just going to choose this pattern here. And then finally, I'm just going to choose this pattern, which goes all the way around there. And that will form our taco banner. So first, I'm just going to place three on the inside. So I'm just going to place one just there, and then one on the left there, and then one on the other side there. And I'm also going to place two on the outside. So I'm just going to place one there, and then one just there as well. And then finally, just for a few extra details on the outside, I'm just going to add three more lanterns. So I'm just going to add one just there, and then another one just on the corner there, and then another one just in front of this third pillar just there. So with those lanterns placed, that is our Taco Bell all complete. So I hope you did enjoy this tutorial, and I hope you are pleased with your final result. And if you did enjoy this at all, I'd really appreciate a little smash on that like button. That does help me out, and I'd highly appreciate that. But yes, so until next time, thanks for watching, and have a good day.